What's up, guys? It's Shane Oak, Shane Mac Outdoors. Hope everybody's doing good today. It's snowing outside today. The hunting's been kind of bad, so I haven't been doing no videos. It's been snowing and sleeting. It's been hard to film. Uh, so today I figured, went through some cigars and stuff I got laying around. I like to smoke when I'm turkey hunting or squirrel hunting, any kind of hunting, bear hunting, anything I do. If I have a successful hunt or uh, a good day or whatever you want to call it, I like to have some small cigars to smoke out in the woods. I like my big cigars. I love them. But when I slide a cigar, I want to smoke the whole thing. I don't want to, I don't want to be in a rush. I don't want to uh, have to get to doing something else and put it out and then light it again. Especially if I have to light it again while I'm sitting there or something, that's fine. But leaving it sitting for a few days and then lighting it again, I just don't like the taste of them. That's just me. Uh, I like to smoke them. So I've got into these little cigars. Uh, Oh, sorry about that. Got into these little cigars, and that's mainly what I take with me to the woods now. That way, I got time to sit there and smoke a whole one without being in a big rush and not having to smoke those little cheap ones, which there's nothing wrong with them. Today, we're doing the Primos, or how do you say Primos? It means number one, I think, uh, by David Off, Nicaraguan Maduro. This is a, it's a spicy, spicy. It's hard to explain. It's not like, uh, it tastes kind of like Perdones uh, a little bit, but a little harsher flavor, you know, which I guess because it's a little cheaper cigar, uh, but it's, it's very spicy and kind of a peppery taste. It's really, really nice. Uh, I love the taste of them. Like I say, it reminds me of Padron, not as good, but very close. And then you get these for like 30 bucks or something. I think, uh, this is the first time I've ever bought them. That's how it looks. Beautiful packaging. And you can see I've smoked three of them already. Beautiful, beautiful packaging. Here, smell. Can you smell it? <laughs> Hold that packaging up there. A bit better. See it there again. Let me get it right here above it. How's that? Is that even better? That's even better, right? So, Dominican Republic cigars, really tasty, really good. I really like them, guys. Uh, and like I say, they're good for the field. Have something to smoke on the go. Here's the outside packaging again. Just really nice packaging. Uh, I just give these away to people and stuff. Sometimes I'll take some of these boxes and uh, you can take a piece of, uh, like, uh, match stuff. You know, these small boxes, not them big ones. I don't really keep none of them. I just give them to people. Everybody wants them. But uh, these smaller ones, you could take and put like a match thing on them, put matches in some of them. Uh, but yeah, I still got a couple left in those. Uh, maybe we'll do those next or something. Uh, but anyway, guys, like a real peppery, a signature Maduro. You know, it's not nasty. It's very clean and nice. It's not a cheap. It's very good. David Off is always good. But I thought with these cheaper, smaller cigars, the batch might not be as good. But guys... It's awesome. Uh, I love these things. So I'm going to give it, you know what it is, Shane and Mac Outdoors, 1 to 10. We're going to give these an 8.5 in the cigar scale. Go out and get you a box of them, guys. They're well worth the money. I hope you guys uh, enjoy this little. Maybe I'll start doing some more uh, cigar reviews, what I think about them, and uh, stuff like that. So, But this one here is a good one, especially uh, for after a good successful hunt. Talk to you guys later.
anyway guys it's a beautiful night here in the blue ridge uh this is a great cigar a real good peppery taste i think you should go out and try them again it's the david offs the ones are primos i guess you can't see that oh there you go go out and try them guys i'm gonna sit here and finish mine in this little bit of snow and uh get back in the house i'll talk to you guys later